Do you wanna start creating digital products faster and easier than ever before so that you can start monetizing your expertise, passion, or idea? Well, in this video, I'm gonna to reveal to you 10 time-saving tools that's going to drastically help you shortcut your success as a coach, leader, expert, or digital creator. My name is Aurelius Chen and on this channel I make videos on how to create a digital product business giving you the freedom to work when, where and how you want to. So if that interests you make sure you hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos I post here on a weekly basis. There's no denying that we live in a digital economy and because of that we were able to tap into a global audience and we're not limited to just having customers or clients based around our geographical location, which is why a digital product business is one of the most convenient and probably a perfect business, especially if you wanna work for yourself or be your own boss. With that said, in this video, I'm gonna to reveal to you 10 time-saving tools that's going to help you create digital products faster and easier than ever before. All right, tool number one is called smart mockups. Well, as the name suggests, mockups is another word for kind of like e-covers or e-book covers. Because we are selling virtual products or non-physical products, we want to still be able to show them in a tangible way, I guess, what our course, book, or product looks like. Smart mockups has a great range of templates that you can use for your e-book covers, course covers, or product covers. Now with the free plan, there's a limited amount of covers you can select, but they're still good to use uh, even though they are free. If you are interested in learning exactly how to use smart mockups, I actually created a step-by-step -step video tutorial on this. So I'll link up a card just above here for you to watch uh, at your own time. What I love most about smart mockups is that you don't need Photoshop, which can be quite expensive, especially if you're just starting out. Essentially what you're going to do is design the actual book cover or product cover of yours. And you do this using uh, Canva. And from Canva, you basically export that image and then simply upload it to Smart Mockups. In a matter of minutes, you can have a product cover that looks quite professional. The Smart Mockups is a perfect solution if you're a digital creator and simply wants to display his or her course online on your website. All right, the next tool I wanna to share with you is something I mentioned in the previous tool, uh, which is called Canva. Now, if you haven't heard about Canva, you're missing out because this is a tool that's gonna allow you to create all sorts of graphics. Now, in the space of digital products, you can create things like uh, book covers and banners and even logos for your website. I use Canva in a number of ways. I create book covers through Canva. I create my video thumbnails also using Canva and also create logos and simple text messages that I put for my social media profiles. All right, next tool is called Designer. Now Designer is going to help you create eBooks and digital products in terms of PDF documents a lot faster because they have a range of templates that you can choose from so that you don't need to go and design the actual eBook. So when I talk about uh, Designer in an eBook uh, aspect, uh, what I mean is that with the interior design of the ebook, so when your subscriber or your customer opens up your ebook or your PDF document, that's what they see. So not so much the actual look of the ebook cover, but the interior. How Designer works is quite simple. All you need to do is import your Word document that you have existing. So you don't need to design anything yet. So let's say you take it from Google Sheets and you simply have text. All you need to do is import it in Designer and it'll convert it into a professionally looking ebook that has already been designed based on a number of templates that you can choose from. If you do want to learn how to use Designer, I've also got a tutorial on that. I'll link up a card just above here for you to go and watch. Okay, so the next tool in order to create some sort of ebook or PDF document, if you don't want to use a program like Designer, is Google Docs. Now I'm recommending Google Docs versus Microsoft Word because Google Docs is for free, free to use, and it collaborates with all the other apps in the Google suite. So whether you're creating a one-page guide or a 100-page ebook, you can use Google Docs for that and then export it as a PDF all in one central location. In addition, what I love about Google Docs is that it's all cloud-based meaning that you can also have other team members such as an editor or perhaps another writer 
and work together simultaneously on that same document. It is my own personal preference to use Google Docs as opposed to Microsoft Word because I use all of Google's range of apps anyway, like Google Sheets and Drive. So I might as well have it in one place and that's why I'm recommending using Google Docs. Okay, so you've created your product or your PDF document or ebook or course. Now it's time to actually sell it. So how do you go about selling it? Well, you need a landing page. And for that, I can recommend a couple of tools. And the first is called Lead Pages. Lead Pages will allow you to create landing pages real quick. Uh, based on a number of templates that they provide in their library. Now I have to note that lead pages does come at a cost either monthly or yearly and can be quite costly if you're just starting out, but it is an easy and fast way to go as opposed to trying to learn how to create a landing page from scratch, learning HTML or learning how to uh, set it all up using WordPress from scratch. There is an alternate tool or WordPress plugin that is that you can use, it's called Optimize Press. I've been using Optimize Press for a number of years now. And the great thing about Optimize Press is that it's made for online marketers. So the templates that they provide you in their library, they're quite uh, optimized for conversions. And also with Optimize Press, the pricing is a lot uh, affordable, coming at something like $99 per year for one site. So do check out lead pages and Optimize Press to see and determine which solution is best for you in terms of putting out your landing page. Okay, so you've created your landing page, what now? How do you deliver your product to your audience? Well, you're going to need some sort of digital delivery system or some sort of shopping cart. And for that, I recommend something like eJunkie, or you can also use WordPress to actually host your files. eJunkie is more of an all-in-one solution where you actually manage your products, add your products there, and add your download links there, and they'll actually host your download links for you. Uh, with the WordPress route or option, you're going to have to upload to your WordPress media library. And then from there, you grab the download link, and then that's what you provide to your leads, your subscribers, or your customers when they go and download your product. Now with the WordPress route, you're going to have to integrate some sort of shopping cart system. I do use Thrivecart for that. So thrivecart.com or alternatively, you can simply go to PayPal and inside your PayPal account, you can create buy now buttons. And from there, you can add your download links. And once you get to that stage of adding your download link, all you need to do is just copy and paste the download link from your WordPress media library over there. So then after customers purchase via uh, PayPal, they get instant access to your product. The downside with that though, is that you can't do things like sales funnels and upselling customers, things like that. So if you do want a better solution for that, I do recommend something like Thrivecart. And I'm not sure in terms of how detailed or how advanced eJunkie is, but do take a look at eJunkie as well if you are looking for some product management system to deliver and set up all your products. All right, next up, a tool that I use almost every single day is ScreenFlow. Now, ScreenFlow will allow you to create video tutorials and on-screen sort of training for your customers. So if you do want to create a course based on something that you want to create on screen, then ScreenFlow is a great tool. However, it is limited to just the Mac OS. If you are using Windows, uh, I highly recommend you use Camtasia. These two tools do come at a price. If you are looking for a free option, do look at Screencast-O-Matic. However, the free plan will only allow you to create 15 minutes of video for free. My usage for ScreenFlow is basically for customer tutorials. So I'll show them exactly how to set up a, a product or how to set up a landing page. And you'll see in some of my other videos on what types of content I actually create using ScreenFlow. All right, the next tool, or it's not so much a tool, but a way to create content or perhaps your products faster is to use and take advantage of PLR content. If you're unfamiliar with PLR, I will link up a card just above here for you to learn more about PLR. But what it stands for is private label rights. Now you've probably heard of the term private label rights in the space of drop shipping or physical products. That's where perhaps a buyer purchases something from China where they manufacture a lot of products and they private label it. They put their logo on their product and then they sell it as their own. The same concept goes in terms of PLR content. 
you have a range of PLR sellers who sell private label content so that you can rebrand it as your own, put your name as the author. And the PLR business is actually one of my income streams. And if you wanna take a look at the PLR products that I have available for sale, simply go to www.unstoppableplr.com and do take a look at the range of products that may perhaps help you uh, shortcut the product creation phase. The products that I have available range from self-improvement, personal development, social media, and online business or online marketing. So if you're in any of those industries or niches, then do take a look and grab one yourself. All right, tool number nine is going to help you in terms of productivity and actually getting things done on a daily basis. And that tool is called Notion. Notion's like your own workspace, so think of it as a way to put all your projects into one place. Whenever you have ideas or whenever you have uh, a list of things to do, you can put it into Notion, access it via your web browser on your desktop or your mobile. I personally use Notion to put all my content ideas. I've got my YouTube content calendar on there, my social media calendar on there. So all I need to do is when I have an idea, I put it into the ideas column. And from there, I can then plan out what I'm going to talk about for that particular topic. And then it moves on to in progress. And then once it's in review, that's when we get our other team members to go and edit the content. And then I can start publishing it after that. So as you can see, it's kind of more of a streamlined way of working and a more structured way of working so that you're not all over the place and you're trying to think about what do I need to do next? If there's one thing that's been responsible for the success, I guess, of my online business and as an entrepreneur, it's in systems. I make sure that I systemize all parts of my business so that uh, my team members, not only myself, know exactly what needs to be done. And so I have things like standard operating procedures so that my staff know exactly how to do a particular task. Now there are alternatives to Notion and they are Trello, Asana and Basecamp. So do look at those options, but I have gone from using Basecamp, which I do uh, use for parts of my business, but we are slowly transitioning over to Notion. But uh, that, take a look at their options and see which one would best fit for your needs. All right, last and final tool or more of a resource is Upwork or using Fiverr. Now, worst case, if you aren't a writer, if you aren't a designer and you simply don't want to actually create the meat of the content for your course or product, you can always outsource it. All you need to do is write down a few ideas or some bullet points that you want perhaps your writer to go and expand on. And from there, you'll have your course or ebook or product a lot faster. Because the last thing you wanna do is stare at a blank screen, you know, that blank screen of death, trying to think about what to write. Uh, but if you have ideas, it's great to just put it down either on your note, note taking tool or you can do some audio recording. So if you're better at talking, then perhaps whip out your phone and start recording your voice and then send that voice uh, a recording over to your writer, which they can then turn into some sort of course or piece of content. So again, the places that you can go to actually outsource uh, things, you can go to Upwork, which is my favorite, upwork.com. And sometimes I go to Fiverr. However, I find the quality is not as great. And, uh, you know, if you're going to hire someone like a writer, I would highly suggest going to Upwork because there's more quality. And overall, you're going to find more writers on Upwork. All right, so those are the 10 time-saving tools to help you create your digital products faster and easier. Over to you, what digital product creation tools do you use to help you create your digital products? Make sure to comment below, I'd love to know. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned in this video or a particular tool, uh, comment below and I'd love to answer your question. By the way, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel below if you haven't already. Make sure to turn on notifications as well so that you'll be the first to know when I release a new video each week on this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.